Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a zip of your current setup within Kodi. So first off, I'm just going to show you I have a build already installed. I'm just going to give it a second guy so it loads up. This is on the Fire TV stick. There we go, all loaded now guys. So what I'm going to do is exit out. We're going to open ES File Explorer. We're going to go to Home, Android, Data, and this is the folder that Cody is currently using with the build in it. All you have to do is highlight it, press and hold the OK button, go down and all the way across to more. We're going to press select, we're going to press up, down, and we're going to keep pressing down until we get to compress. In the top box, it's just basically the name of the folder. You can select you can name, rename it if you like guys, but preferably just leave as is. Go to next, you can select which one, which type of zip you want to use. Whether it just be your basic .zip or .7z. You can change the compression level to either just store it, this means that basically no compression will be done on any of the files added. Fast is compressed to a minimum. Standard is just your basic compression and best is maximum compression. I'm just going to leave it as standard. I'm going to select OK. You can add a password to it to password protect it. This is entirely up to you, but if you do forget the password, then you're going to struggle to unzip it. I'm going to go down to OK. Select OK to start compression. Depending on the size of your setup, all depends on how long the compression will take guys. I've done this to a minimum just to help make this video that little bit quicker. The build I have installed guys is just for demonstration purposes of this video. I just wanted to have something already existing that was noticeable. I would recommend doing this once you have a setup and you like how the setup is completed, I would recommend that you make a .zip backup of the org.xbmc.cody folder. This way if you do make 
any mistakes you have a backup to restore to also don't forget if you do gradually add new stuff then you would be required to back up the folder again just to keep it updated guys There now that's completed guys, what I am going to do is delete the xbmc.cody folder, I'm not going to move it to the recycle bin due to it still using storage in that process, select ok to delete it. I'm now going to exit out and with me deleting that folder guys it should have deleted the build I had pre-installed as you can see back to a fresh start so what I'm going to do now guys is go in and show you how to restore from the dot zip So we're going to go back into ES File Explorer. We're going to go to Home, Android. And as you can see, because we deleted the old folder, Cody recreated a new one, which gave us our fresh setup. So to restore, we need to delete that folder guys so that's now deleted we're going to select our dot zip backup we're going to go down to extract we're going to select current path select OK As I said earlier as well guys, depending on the size of your setup, all depends on the size of the backup. The larger the backup, the longer it's going to take to extract and create.
as you can see guys our backup is now there so we're going to exit out we're going to start up our media center and hopefully this should have recovered to our previous setup there you go guys just give it a few seconds to finish there we go guys as simple as that I hope this video helped you out guys don't forget to comment like subscribe and hit the share button thanks for watching and I shall catch you on the next one guys